Hi there, God bless you. This is Lola and thank you for joining me. I believe you are having a wonderful time out there and I am praying that this is your rema from the Holy Spirit and life transforming word. In Jesus mighty name, may the Lord bless you and bring his word to pass in your life. Yes, I was meditating on the word of the Lord this very morning. The Spirit of the Lord led me to the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 3. And that is the promise and the word of the Lord for you. The Lord says, wherever you go, I will give you that land as I promised. Every place upon which the sole of your foot shall tread, that I will give to you. And this is the word of the Lord. You know, this particular word was directed to Joshua. God was about to give him the leadership role shortly after Moses' departure. But then the Lord gave this word to Joshua that there is no room for fear and cowardice because there are grounds to cover. Yes, and that is the word of the Lord for you. There are grounds to cover. There are places to go. And the Lord is commissioning you to go. Wherever he has directed you and whatever he has told you to do or not to do. The Lord is saying to you, wherever you go, I will give you that place. This speaks of favor favor of the Lord. Wherever you find yourself, favor of the Lord will be there waiting for you. See, favor refers to one unmerited kindness, unmerited grace from God. For you are about to receive something good you do not deserve. This might be where you're working, where you're doing your stuff, places you're going, people you're meeting. The Lord has gone ahead of you. And that is why he said, wherever you go, that place is given to you. Because there will be unmerited kindness. Favor also refers to approval and acceptance. You'll be gaining recognition and approval and acceptance. In places where you've been rejected, you will be accepted. Because the favor of the Lord is upon you. Again, favor is bringing to you preferential treatments. You'll be receiving special treatments and benefits. Probably you've been where you are for a long time and you're expecting your benefits, your rewards, your recognition to come. Or maybe it's a ministry and you're expecting the fruit to start manifesting. The Lord says there will be preferential treatments. And there will be benefits. See, you'll be receiving favor. Favor with people. You'll be gaining respect. You'll be gaining acceptance. And you'll be gaining recognition from other people. For the Lord is preparing the ground, the places, the people for you. And then you'll be finding favor with God. And this comes through faith and obedience. This is a time we get close to God to understand what he's saying, the direction he's given. To act in faith and not in doubt or fear. And then to do. To do as he is instructing. This is why it calls for obedience and faith. Favor is not earned. But you receive favor. And you are receiving this favor from the Lord. Because of his grace. And because you have faith in him, and while the Lord is giving you this favor, it is important because the Holy Spirit says it is important for us to be humble wherever we go, in places he is leading us. Be humble. Be humble. The Bible says God lifts up the humble. Yes, while he debases the proud. Humble yourself as you go in this journey. Favor and humility work together. 
and the Lord is calling you to obedience. Be obedient to what he is saying to you, to his word. Because the Lord is assuring that wherever you go, the Lord is giving you that land, that place, that ground, the favor there is yours. And I am praying for you. May you receive God's favor and his grace and his kindness, unmerited favor wherever you find yourself. Kindness from people and especially from the throne of grace in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. God bless you. I love you all. I'm praying for you. Thank you for supporting this ministry. God loves you all and newcomers are welcome. I wish you peace and love of God. Shalom. Bye.